James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 16th, 2023. 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had three M-Class solar flares thus far today. It's like the first very small M1-class solar flare. Happened right around 8.20 UTC time. That was followed by a little bit stronger solar flare, an M1.77 magnitude, perhaps. And that was right around 1500 UTC time. We've just had another much stronger M-class solar flare. That one looks like it is about a 4 magnitude M-class solar flare. And that occurred right around 1800 UTC time. Let's take a look at what we have here. Proton events are very rare. Very rare indeed. And here we have a proton event. It did start yesterday, but it wasn't significant. It broke our space weather threshold of 10 MEV, a warning threshold here. So our planet is being bombarded currently with protons. Not a good situation. All right, over to GOES Ultraviolet Imager. NASA's calling the last M class solar flare that you see generated right here. And that's going to be Sunspot AR3363 again. They're calling that a 4.02. And they're also coming in and saying 3372 up here generated the 1.7 and they're still not sure believe it or not what generated the m1 at around 816 in and at 830 this is nasa's data so ladies and gentlemen we've also had a c 5.6 and many c flares today mostly out of 3363 now, 3363 is just beta gamma, whereas 3372 up here is beta delta gamma, the most complex sunspot. They're saying 3363 has 11 sunspots in the group, and 3372 has 17 sunspots in the group. Very easy to see the flare bust off right there. I would expect it to have an Earth component to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the proton event that I warned you about. We have radiation pushing into the North Pole and somewhat into the South Pole, but the North Pole is lit up. We should see very strong Aurora Borealis this evening. Look at the protons coming in in the form of radiation. This is not a good day. All right, so it starts to fade away, although the proton event is still in progress. So you're going to see it come and go. We're actually only going to probably see the last strongest M flare here in our D region absorption prediction. And it should be happening here just over the U.S. Don't think that's it. I think that's a C flare. But I do think that that is it. And that would work out. 1749 and ending at about 18 something. The peak looks to be about 1747. I can actually check that. And that is, in fact, the last M4.08 solar flare, according to NASA. So it was a pretty good hit right over the Caribbean, Mexico parts of South America, and most all of the United States, and parts of Canada as well. Direct hit, folks, if you're having any type of radio problems, internet problems, it very well could be due to this impact that just occurred. So this was taken at 7 a.m. this morning. 3363 was here. 
it's going to have moved a little bit further towards the limb. It's beta gamma. And we have this that's beta delta gamma 3372, which is more complex. And it was responsible for at least one of the M flares and many of the C flares today that I have not mentioned. There's a very good chance that all three of these M flares will affect Earth. Now, NASA has just announced a cannibal CME, and that will be up next. I hope you all join us. It looks like they're looking for a double impact in less than 48 hours on the 18th UTC time. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.